All right, uh, you should have finished your transfer of your portrait yesterday. Um, we are going to be creating this portrait using something called a monochromatic color scheme. A monochromatic color scheme means one color with black and white. So we are going to be choosing one single color and using black and water to make that color lighter and darker, okay? So we are going to be creating using a monochromatic color scheme. Monochromatic means one color because mono means one, chroma means color. And we are going to add black and water, right? Because we don't have white watercolor. So black uh, will give us darker and water will give us lighter. So your job today is to choose what color you're going to be using. Now you can choose any of the colors. I do not recommend um, the light yellow. It can be really challenging to work with, mostly because it doesn't lighten well, but you can use any of the rest of the colors. So you are going to choose your color today, okay? So choosing your color becomes an important part of this process. You're only using one color, okay? Only using one color for the whole project, one color. Uh, the reason for that, it's much easier for us to copy the shadows and just work with the planes and the proportions on the human face than it is for us to worry or be concerned about skin color and things like that because it's more challenging for us as early painters. And so we're just going to be working with shadows and highlights. Now, the very first thing after choosing my color, I'm going to be painting my background. Now, if you were one of the students that brought home tape and one of these backer boards, you can go ahead and you can tape your painting down to the board. If you uh, do not have one of these boards at home, do not worry about it. You do not have to tape your project to anything. You can just go ahead and paint it. If you, just like I said last week, if you need one of these boards, you can make arrangements to come up to school and get one of these. Um, what I'm going to do first is paint the background. So the background is this very little bit of an area behind the face. I have to ask myself, right? Do I want my background to be darker? And then I'm going to take my color and add black. Do I want my background to be lighter? Then I'm going to take my color and add white. I don't want my person, my portrait to blend into the background. So this person has light hair. And so I do want to create a darker background. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my clean water. I'm going to put some on the black because I know I'm going to need black and I put some on the color that I've picked. And then I am going to like use this painty water and I'm going to start with a darker color a darker version of my color. So I'm going to just take my color, take my color, add it in. I don't want it to be completely black. I just want it to be darker. Okay, so it's darker. I'm also gonna think about using like a texture technique in the background, I don't want it to be solid. So I am going to just begin down here at the bottom. I'm gonna get some really good contrast with her light colored hair by using a dark version of the color. And you can see that, that, that really adding the black to this color really 
made it very kind of deeply purple, which I'm surprised by, but black has a lot of blue in it. And I might just gradually lighten it up or add a little bit more of my color as I go forward or go towards the top of my painting. So I'm just gonna add some water as I go to the top, just so it's not just all one flat color. It's always kind of boring in a painting if things are just the same color from top to bottom. But I do wanna keep that overall darkness because like I said, her hair is very light and so I'll get good contrast. If I'm painting somebody that has dark hair, I probably wanna do the opposite. And then just to add some interest in the background, I'm going to take some paper towel. I could do salt, I could do alcohol, I could do braided wash. Like there are lots of things I could do in the background just to kind of make it be not just a solid color. So here I'm taking my paper towel and I'm just lightening up a few areas, not too many. I don't want the background to get really busy, but I do want the background to have a little bit of visual texture so that it's not just all one plain um, color of watercolor. All right, that is your job today, is to quite simply paint your background. Nothing more, just the background today.